Uh, my name is Jamie Keenan, I play in the La Fontaines and we are in Other Side Records in the South Side and I'm here today to talk about my favourite album. Yeah. This is an album called Songs from Northern Britain by Teenage Fan Club. It is my favourite album by probably my favourite band. The first time I heard about Teenage Fan Club, I must have been about 10 or something, and my mum had took me to this exhibition down at the Motherwell Heritage Centre, the museum, but it was record sleeves, and I remember all the Never Mind the Bollocks by Sex Pistols, and there was one there that was Teenage Fan Club, and my mum was saying that that band were from this area. That was the first time I'd heard about them, I think when I was about 15, 14, 15, I was sent to Nirvana and there was a thing about Kurt Cobain had said Teenage Fan Club's the best band in the world so as a wee guy, I think well, it must be right and then the first time I put it on the first song, Start Again I was even just so happy to talk about it it's the best song I can think of it and the first time I heard the song I listened to it about three or four times and then listened to the album I listened to the album for ages and that's been about five or six years where I've been obsessed particularly with this album but the band Teenage Fan Club in general. There's too many different ways to, to listen to this album. It sort of transcends all surroundings. But I think that the best times that you can listen to it, um, Sunny Day, it's a really positive album. A lot of the lyrics in the album sort of mention summer. It's quite hard to write um, happy songs. I feel most, most artists, most bands and that try and go for the, this tortured mind which is easier to do. If I hadn't heard this album, I would have probably still been listening to a lot of Pantera, Slayer, and Megadeth and all the bands that I was listening to when I was younger. After listening to this album, especially like finding out what their influences were, and then listening to The Birds and Big Star, Alex Chilton and the Beach Boys and the Beatles and that sort of thing, so that got me listening to so much different stuff, so um, I had been more a mosher if if I did not have this record. Uh, I don't know, even know where I could finish talking about it. I'm just going to keep sort of flailing my arms yeah. and holding the CD.